And right now we have a mutual friend. We do have a mutual friend in the, in studio, the building. In the building, right? Let's gas him up. Who goes by the name of Leonardo to ah! real close friends. <laughs> Leonardo. Listen, I have apologized to Leonard just now, and I'll also do it on air for everyone to hear as my witnesses. Okay. Leonard, I apologize for pronouncing your name wrong, but welcome to the studio. Welcome. Listen, Leonard, you are here to talk about your new book, Become Your Own Hero, mm -hmm. but you are also more than just a published author now. You are an entrepreneur. And you have been, and like Lion said, you've been out hustling in this game for a minute. What has been your kind of one of your biggest failures, and what did you learn from it? Um, one of my biggest failures. Or oh, mistake. Yeah, mistakes. I see how that's got you. Yeah, because I, I don't think you know uh, honestly because 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 everything is feedback, and I think that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna answer that, but everything is feedback. Yeah, from, true. In, just in where if I was ever to subscribe the concept of failure, that kind of defines stop. You know, and I think mm. we, we we're, we're constantly breathing, we're alive. You know, and I think mm. the only part of failure that kind of defines someone is death. It's like it stops, and if I can wake up and I might be a bit more down the next day, or might have to kind of readjust or kind of take two, three days to recover. But in, in hindsight, for me, I feel like my biggest learning curve was understanding that uh, just because something's on up, like my Filipino business, which was really go doing well for me, mm. just like that, things can change. And if you don't have the ability to not get caught in your ego, because at mm. that time I first started making money, I first got my apartment, I first like, had yeah. this, yeah, I, I, <laughs> that was my first, my first taste of it. And I thought it was forever and, and learning to understand the difference between my ego and my ability was a key thing in that in that moment and realizing who was really there when I was down um, really defined how I moved forward and, and how I also projected myself and the people around around myself in that scenario. So right now, okay, we've been asking the listeners, okay, like what is the nicest thing or what is a nice thing that your friend has done for you? Mm -hmm. Can you think of something in your career or in your journey where someone has done something nice for you? Yeah, well, one of my best friends when I was on the sofa, he let me come and sleep on his sofa. Mm, that's fair. That's, <laughs> that's a good yeah, thing. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> so, that is a good thing to, to be able to say to yeah. your friend. And the key thing about the book, and I want to make it very clear, it's not it's not my biography. It's it, it, it's it's, it's a, a prescribed book, yes, right? a self help book, but it's a prescribed method to handling you know the external noise that we have outside. Mm. But also one of the key principles and one of the things that I have used throughout the years when I didn't have anything is goal setting, and I did learn how to. Um, to study the concept of creating affirmations and stronger dialogue within yep. myself because I think people read it and they get thrown off and even one of the chapters someone emailed me today is like it asks you to create your own perfect day mm. and so many people struggle with that because they're not used to the concept of thinking optimistically about their mm. lives they're so prescribed to memory and restriction and the goal of this book is to unlock that so anyone that reads it and and and, and gets to that page or gets to the goal setting page you know, you'll try out watching Instagram for hours. You'll try out, you know, going to a club and getting drunk. Why not try to look at yourself from a positive position and see how it affects you? Look at that. You're just giving out free mini know, seminars right? right now. You are listening to Leonard. Leonard, listen, where can people find you? They can find me on uh, Instagram, uh, Leonard Sekionda. I'm also on my come up if you just search Lena Sekionda. Uh, I'm on YouTube, Lena Sekionda. Hey. I have a website, lenasekionda.com. Hey. Hey. This is uh, a beat. <laughs> Lena Sekionda. Yeah. Uh, what else? Lion, do you know recording. what? We're going to know we made it when we get on Ooh. my come up, when we get featured on my oh. come up, you know? We'll wait for the yeah, day. When is our come up? When, when is our come up? When is our come up? When is our come up? I'm nervous to message you guys, and when I get a message, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth, handled so well. Listeners, if you've just tuned in, hello, welcome, and happy Friday night to you. We're glad to have you here.